Emil, listen to me. Uh, what is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? I would be willing to put down, I don't know, a whole pizza that she just asked him that if she ever loses control, he wants him to turn her to stone. I, I almost, almost guarantee it. I promise I'll never give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. No one's gonna ask Emil about why there's like five people that are turned into stone in his like little garden thing. No one's gonna ask. Not 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 anybody's gonna ask that question. Because I'm dying to know if Emil turned them to stone. Like, what the hell? That's the first thing I want to know. And no one's going to ask that? That seems like a huge oversight here. Someone needs to ask that question, what the hell? Hmm. I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad earlier. <sighs> Hopefully it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Hmm. Speak the truth, hussy! Book? Shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice. You've got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then we can finally save Yona. Oh my god, color. I missed you so much, color. Look at it, it's so bright and green. Um. Why is there nothing here for me to kill? Like, there's no shades, but there's also no deer? Usually there's one or the other, or both. There's just nothing here. At all. Doesn't seem very good.
Hi, are you the guy who's taking care of that runaway? Runaway? What are you talking about? <sighs> it would seem we've been bamboozled. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Seriously? Uh, still, I guess we can tell his father he's alive at least. But it's the first request I've made in ages. How dare you deny it? You can't leave. Who's going to tend the lighthouse? How much longer will you force me to toil here? I must go to him. I need to board a ship as soon as possible. No way, lady. It's back to work for you. Now get going. That doesn't seem very nice. What's going on? There's no one else in town who knows how to keep the lighthouse burning. We... we need her. <sighs> Look, she seems to trust you. Think you could maybe talk her into it? I suppose a visit is an order, yes? Can't you just teach somebody else how to run the lighthouse? Like... She is an old lady. Might be good to have somebody else learn how to do it at some point soon anyway. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, ma'am? Oh no. As I feared, it's the Black Straw. In an advanced case at that. So that's the illness she kept mentioning. Oh, you. I suppose you want to tell everyone about my illness, hmm? Well, don't. I don't fear death. I've lived long enough, and I'm weary of it. I'm weary of being alone. But though I don't fear death, I do have one regret. I wanted to see my love one last time. I've spent 50 years working the lighthouse for these people, and now they won't let me leave. I just want to see him. I want to board the ship that will take me to him. Oh, cruel world. So it's a dying wish now, is it? We should help her out, Vice. We've better things to do than stay here and operate a lighthouse. You'll have to convince the villagers to help. Come on, let's start with the postman. Like, seriously, she's been doing this for 50 years and no one else has bothered to learn how to do this? Just in case, you know, she couldn't do it anymore? Because, like, I don't know if she's old and she could pass away, I'm just saying. I don't wish it on her, but I'm just saying. It's a possibility. It could happen. Listen, about the lighthouse lady, could you reconsider? You really should let her go. We can't. Look, I'm sorry, but you'll just have to trust me. This is for her own good. Death stalks this woman, Postman. Would you truly deny her final request? She's... wait, she's dying? Yeah, so if you are doing it for her sake, then you should just grant her final request. But we can't! <sighs> Look, I... I have things to attend to. Come back tomorrow. What? Come back tomorrow? Hmm... 
Methinks the postman is hiding a secret of his own. I suggest we go back. I have a feeling we might discover something. I can't believe she's going to die. I suppose there's no need for this now. Listen, Mr. Postman. Hey! What are you doing here? I would ask the same of you. Uh, work! Just... just some work! Wait, are you writing a letter? I don't see how that's any of your business. Well then, allow me to ask about something that is very much our business. Why are the old lady's letters, and only her letters, postmarked from this very office? What? Well, that's because... Um, The other deliveries bore postmarks from locales far and wide. What are you getting at, Vice? A woman was not receiving letters from a lover in some far-flung land. They were penned by the hand of someone in this very town. Well, crap. <sighs> Go to the back room. There's something there you should see. What? There's another room over there. Clear these packages out of the way. Whatever it is, he could have put it in a more convenient spot. It must be something he wanted to keep hidden at all costs. My brain's not good enough for this stuff. Okay. They're... letters. Yes, and a rather sizable bundle. written by the woman in the lighthouse. And you never thought to deliver them? I couldn't. Not anymore. Here, look at this. It's a death notice. For her true love, I presume. Then who sent the woman all those letters? I did. What manner of cruel hopes is this? I didn't mean for it to be cruel. None of us did. The whole town agreed to help. So you're all in on it? Those letters kept her going. They gave her hope. She believed her love to be alive in a foreign land somewhere, and we couldn't bear to tell her otherwise. So we just kept the lie going. It started with my father some 50 years ago. 50 years! 50 years they've been lying to her, oh my god! Are you gonna keep lying to her? Yes. The truth can only cause her pain. Are you sure she's better off this way? It's not a very happy truth now, is it? What about her final request? I don't know. How should I know? I'm just a damn postman. I don't know what to do anymore. What's the best thing to do? What's the right thing? Here, I have a new letter. Take it. It says that her love is coming, but that the journey will be long. It tells her to wait. You wish us to deliver another letter filled with lies? You uncovered our town's deepest secret like it was nothing. I don't think that's an accident. Look, I've told you what I think. 
Deliver the letter or tell her the truth. It's up to you. Oh, why? Yeah. Why is it gotta be up to me? Oh man, this is tough. What do we do, Vice? What do we do? Calm yourself, lad. There's no need to get in a froth over a problem of someone else's making. It's hard to believe the entire town was lying to her. I wager their intentions were good. Elsewise, they would not have carried on with the ruse for 50 years. It also explains why they tasked her with keeping the lighthouse running, so news of her love's demise would not reach her. Maybe that really was the kind thing to do? That old lady in the lighthouse is a real pain. Why does that have to- why does he say that just after what I just found out? The whole town's in on it, and he's like, the, the old lady in the lighthouse is a real pain. That brings like a whole nother meaning to the idea of why she's a pain. Is she, is she, is she, a, is she a pain because you don't want to deal with the the fact that you've been lying to her for so long and like it's it's frustrating that you have to lie to her is that why she's a pain or is she a pain because she's hard to deal with because she's a grumpy old woman who just wants to see the person that she loves who died and nobody has the heart to tell her that i don't i don't know i don't know which one is the, the answer to that i don't even know what i'm gonna do here I think I'm gonna tell her the truth? I don't know. Further news for my love? <sighs> I'm gonna tell her the truth, I think. This is for you, but your love didn't write it. Oh, posh! It's his handwriting, and I recognize the stationery, too. That which you recognize comes from the town's postman and his father, not from your beloved. Are you saying those two idiots wrote all these letters? But... but why? Your lover perished long years ago, and they had not the heart to tell you. Thus, the charade. Oh. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. To tell you the truth, part of me had suspected something like this. But it's hard to hear a secret thought finally spoken aloud. I... I think I should be alone for a while. Actually, I'm pretty close to crying right now. I'd like to ask you a favor. I want you to forget we ever had this conversation. The entire town has worked on this story, and they did so to make me happy. I don't want their hard work to go to waste, so I will carry on as if I am none the wiser. As you wish. Please, tell the postman. Thank you. We will. Oh my god, now I think I am crying. Oh. I think telling her was the right thing, but that's so sad. That she already kind of knew and accepted it so easily. And then was so able to forgive the entire town for doing that to her. You have my thanks. Man. This game sometimes just... Really punches right in the gut. Hey. 
hey there. Your son come back yet? No, I haven't seen him. Where could he be? He's in Seafront. Or he was, until he ran away again. Oh, crud. Let me guess. Did he tell you an elaborate story and then ask for help? That boy is... Well, he's a bit of a dirty liar. I probably should have mentioned that. So that whole story was a setup. He sent us on a wild goose chase and then gave us the slip. Since I cannot imagine you letting this go, perhaps we should return to Seafront? There may still be a lead or two left to pursue. Good idea. We can't let him get away with this. <sighs> What's wrong? How can a son bring so much despair to his family? He seems completely ignorant of the pain he has caused. It's deplorable. I love it when you sound like a grumpy old man, Vice. Perhaps I only sound that way because I have existed since time immemorial. How old are you anyway? Hmm. You know, I'm not exactly sure. They say memory loss is a sign of old age. Well, it's still preferable to being a deplorable liar like that son. Hmm, what have we got today? Which job should I give you first? I got a letter from the seafront postman. Apparently he has a message for you. How mysterious. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. The woman from the lighthouse has passed. Ah. We found her in bed. She looked... happy. So, I guess you didn't tell her, huh? No, I didn't. Thank you. I think you did right. Hard to believe she's gone. I always figured the old girl would outlive me. I hope our plan was right. I hope it made her happy in the end. Mm. I went ahead and said that I didn't tell her because she asked me to not tell them that I did tell her, so that's why I chose that. Did we do the right thing? Was she happy? I do not know. None can say what true happiness is. Humans, and perhaps even magical tones, are far more uncertain creatures than we know. Yeah, I guess.